welcome to Lake News Now on KRMS TV 32. I'm Matt Markovy. Today's top stories. A Lake Ozark man is seriously hurt in a two vehicle accident on US 50 west of Route A in Morgan County. The Highway Patrol says it happened early Monday afternoon when the vehicle driven by 62 year old Ronald Lacey traveled onto the snow covered shoulder before overcorrecting, sending his vehicle back across the center and into the path of 21 year old Javier Olmedo of Sedalia. Lacey, who was not wearing a seatbelt at the time, was ejected from his vehicle and seriously hurt. He was taken to University Hospital. Olmedo was wearing a seatbelt and was not injured. And a 37-year-old from Max Creek faces several felony charges in connection to a domestic incident that occurred on November 24th. A probable cause statement filed in the Camden County Courthouse alleges that Joshua David Taylor restrained an unidentified victim, allegedly a minor, and poured boiling water on the victim's body, beating them with oxygen tanks and more. Taylor is formally charged with first-degree domestic assault, abuse or neglect of a child, endangering the welfare of a child, and first-degree kidnapping. He's being held in the Camden County Jail. And that's your Lake News Now. I'm Matt Markovy. So, who did you wake up with this morning? Yikes. Who are you going to fool around with at work today? And who will you take home tonight? Now that just makes you sound desperate. We do too, so don't be a button-pushing radio tramp. We'd appreciate a monogamous relationship. There's only one station that rocks the lake. 93.5 Rocks, Classic Rock, and more. Streaming worldwide at 93.5rocksthelake.com.